guys, Jill here, and I wanted to give you a quick look at an album I made for Joey's mom, and um, Joey's my husband, and um, his mom just got remarried, so I made her an album, and then this is the card. Um, I'm a little bit late on everything, but she's aware of that. So, this is the card, and what I've been trying to do, really, really hard, I've been trying to use up some of the things that I have sitting around and um, you'll see that with some of my Christmas cards too and of course there's new stuff on some of them but this is an image that I colored with my Tomba markers and um, and in my lighting as always I've tried to adjust it I've tried to move my camera all of that fun stuff so I guess I'm gonna just stop complaining about it so it has a shimmer to it and um, this is my video that I did called Watercoloring with Tombow Markers. And it's just a really fun way to use your markers. You can use it with any water base, like your Distress Markers or Stampin' Up! Markers, your Tombow Markers. So this is an image that I had, and I um, just went in and colored in the leaves. And actually, I used my Distress Markers on those. And this was a leftover, again, from another card that I had. So I just put it on... Um, some scraps and this I'm pretty much um, sure that this is Flora and Fauna that I used and my lace Martha Stewart punch and then I used pop and cuts and I kept it really simple again when you're not dealing with scrapbookers I tend to try to keep it simple and this is a K and Company paper I know it's not Flora and Fauna but it was in my scraps and I used my Tim Holtz heart mover and shaper die to cut out the center of that and then I used a Stampin' Up! stamp to say welcome to the Weta Bliss Club and it had a congratulations with it but obviously I used that one which is a Stampin' Up! stamp. This is the album. It's a large tag shape and I was going to bind it over here but it was really awkward so I ended up just kind of binding it the wrong direction for me but of course it's still totally functional. So um, we'll start with the shape. This actually was a shape that Terry gave me and Terry is paper lover, P-A-P-R-L-U-V-R here on YouTube. And she actually just did a really cool tutorial on bottle tops, bottle you know, the bottle caps. Um, actually, I had some of hers around. Well, okay. I put them away. Of course, the one time I actually put something away. Um, because I just had them out. I was looking at them. They're so cool. But, um, so she has a tutorial. Check it out. And so she had cut me a whole bunch of shapes, as many of you know. And this is one of them. And again, that's another thing I've been trying to do is go through these. I use the Flora and Fauna paper on this. Um, this is a die cut again that she had given me a bunch of. So I cut parts of the dress off of one of the die cuts and um, then I put paper on each section. Different pieces, different scraps I had actually. Um, some, I think these are I Am Roses, they're all mixed together. Flowers and I just wanted something simple across the dress. Um, this is seam binding that I dyed with my um, sponge sugar inks that I have and then this is a piece of vellum I stamped it in gold with one of my favorite all-time stamps and it is from Paper Inspirations I don't know if it's still made and it is one Corinthians background script and so, you know, it's usually read at weddings. So it's 1 Corinthians 13 is what it says on it. So, anyway, that had been given to me actually as a wedding gift many, many years ago. So I tore the edges and then dipped it in Versamark and then gold. And then um, here's their name, Karen and Dale, June 29, 2013. And this is a wood piece that I got at Michael's, and I got three hearts, and they were doing that really amazing sale um, for 19 cents. And so 
I stamped it with my swirl from Darcy's and it comes with an owl and um, it was one of the blues from my archival inks and this is the brown in my Adirondack. I edged it with tea dye and it was painted with um, Martha Stewart really light pink and then um, I sprayed everything with a shimmer mist and that was with the Sukuneko Pearl um, Shimmer Spray. No, sorry, Champagne. Nope, this one was the Pearl. Sorry, I'm all over the place tonight. Okay, so then we have some flowers down here. This one's I Am Roses. I know that for sure. This one was actually sent to me from somebody. Um, and this is the same as those. And then I put a few pearls that Terry had given me, kind of tucked away. And then when Terry and I went to Hobby Lobby, we found these sprays in the bridal section, and I love them. So um, I used the purple, blue, and the green. And then the um, Tim Holtz Swivel Clasp has the two birds that I got, an angel, a heart, and then just a dangle. And that's a Tim Holtz dangle. And then super simple inside. I have a doily right here on each of them, a frame that I cut with my for photo co corner chomper, and everything's edged with tea dye. So, um, again, the book is very simple. So I used the Seven Gypsies cable ties to bind it so that she had plenty of room for movement because his mother just adores pictures. So there you have it. There's that album. And Terry, I hope that this did give you some basic ideas um, with that die that you had given to me. So thank you all for watching and have a great day.